This young man married an old millionaire lady for her money, but he never imagined that she would do this. Owen Smith had always had a very easy life. From when he was just a young child, he would always get what he wanted. All he had to do was throw a tantrum and his parents would give him what he wanted so that he wouldn't make a scene. They were able to do this because the Smith family was actually incredibly wealthy. Because of this, no matter how cheap or expensive the item, Owen knew that his parents would always get it to keep him happy and quiet. As Owen grew older, his demanding and selfish nature only grew with him. Not even his teachers could bear to say no to the young man for fear that he would start screaming and crying or yelling at the top of his lungs and make a scene. As well as that, most adults knew about his family and how wealthy they were, meaning that they didn't want to upset the Smiths in case they decided to try and hurt them financially, professionally, or socially. As far as Owen was concerned, he had the best life, one of wealth, luxury, and comfort. He never wanted to give it up. As the boy grew into a young man, another thing that helped him get by easy in life was the fact that he was incredibly good looking. He was the classic trope of tall, dark, and handsome, which had all of the girls chasing after him, hoping to be the woman he loved and married. But Owen wasn't one to be tied down. He would often date a girl for a short time before dumping her and moving on to the next one. This meant that he left a line of broken hearts behind him, not that he ever cared how they felt once he'd left. So, for the entirety of the beginning of his life, Owen had had it made. But that all suddenly changed when he was 22 years old. Originally, Owen had always thought that he would simply live off of his parents' money for the rest of his life and spend his days doing things that he enjoyed instead of working. At the most, he thought that he would perhaps have to get a token role at his father's company in order to get paid a large wage, but that it really wouldn't require any proper work or effort on his behalf. Little did Owen know, though, that things were about to take a turn for the worse. Only a couple of weeks after his 22nd birthday, Owen was relaxing in his family home when there was a loud knock on the front door. Moments later, police were walking through his home. The officers marched into his father's office and, within seconds, they had arrested him. Owen was stunned. He had no clue what was going on and tried to demand the police to let his father go. But the officers paid no mind to the young man and simply marched his father out of the house and into the back of their squad car. Owen couldn't believe it. No one had listened to him. For the first time in his life, he hadn't gotten his way, but it was definitely not going to be the last time that it happened. After waiting a few days to discover what had actually happened that fateful night, the police finally revealed the truth. It turned out that Owen's father had been involved in some incredibly corrupt deals and that the company he had built up was actually a front for more sinister goings-on. The older man also owed quite a lot of money to the government, of which he couldn't actually pay back. Because of this, all of the man's possessions were instead repossessed. This meant that all of the money he had in his bank accounts, all of the assets he owned, and even the house were taken by the government, leaving Owen with next to nothing. The young man couldn't believe what had happened, but instead of being upset at the loss of his father, Owen was more devastated at the loss of his lifestyle. He had always been wealthy and able to afford whatever he wanted. He had no clue how he was going to survive being poor. As well as that, people immediately began to treat him differently. Now that he had no money, Owen's so-called friends all abandoned him. As well as that, people began to act much more cold and harsh towards him. Whereas before he could get what he wanted when he wanted it, he was now finding that a lot more people were telling him no and that they wouldn't stand for his rude and selfish behavior. And for the first time in his life, he had to get a job in order to earn money. With no true skills to his name, as he had thought that school was simply a waste of time for him, Owen found himself having to get a job working as a fast food server. The young man couldn't believe what his life had become. How could he go from having everything to nothing? Surely it wasn't fair. Deciding that he had had enough and that he wanted his old life back, Owen decided to try a different idea. When his family had still been wealthy, they had known quite a few other rich people in the area. Most of these were families, however, there was one person who Owen remembered who he thought would be his ticket back to a life of luxury and comfort. The person was an elderly woman 
by the name of Eloise. She had recently been widowed after her husband of 60 years had passed away. But the thing that interested Owen was the fact that she was now the owner of her husband's company, which was worth millions of dollars. The young man believed that he would be able to make Eloise fall in love with him and, because she was quite old already, when she died she would leave all of her money and assets to him in her will. Owen started his plan by acting as if he was just checking up on Eloise to make sure that she was okay after the passing of her husband. To begin with, the elderly woman was quite confused. She had never really spoken to Owen before and he was much younger than her but then she realized that they had both recently lost someone important to them. She had lost her husband, and Owen had lost his father, who had been sentenced to 10 years in jail. Thinking that his plan was working, Owen made sure to visit Eloise as often as he could. He made sure to offer her comfort and warmth in the hope that she would mistake it for love and fall for him. Just like the young man had hoped, Eloise did exactly that as the months went by. Eventually, only six months after Owen had integrated himself into her life, Eloise found herself in love with the handsome young man. Owen was thrilled at how well his plan was going. Now it was time for the next stage. He had to marry the elderly woman. He proposed to her one evening as the two were having dinner, and Eloise immediately said yes. The two were quickly married in a very small ceremony in which only the priest and a single witness were invited. With that in place, Owen moved in to Eloise's mansion. He knew that all he had to do was have the old woman change her will to leave him everything, and then he would be set for life. However, only a few weeks after the two were married, Eloise became incredibly ill. Owen thought that his luck was finally paying off. He hadn't had to be married to the old woman for too long before he would be able to take her money and start the life he had always wanted. Little did he know, though, what she had actually done. Roughly a week after she had become ill, Eloise knew that her time was almost up. She requested Owen to visit her so that she could say goodbye. It was while she was talking to the young man, though, that she revealed the truth. She had always known that Owen had only ever pretended to love her in order to get her money, but she had been so lonely since her husband's death that she didn't let it bother her. Instead, she allowed the young man to believe that he had been tricking her when in actual fact she had been using him to stop her loneliness. Then, just before she died, Eloise revealed that she hadn't left a single penny to Owen and that all of her money was being divided up equally between her three children and some charities of her choosing. Owen was shocked. He had been left with nothing? He couldn't believe that he had put all of that time and effort into getting to know Eloise and providing her comfort just to discover that he had been played the entire time. With nothing else left to do, Owen had to return to his job in the fast food restaurant. It was at this point that he decided that he would no longer try to cheat his way into an easy life, just look at where it had gotten his father and his failed plan with Eloise. Instead, he would go back to school and learn the proper way to become an upstanding member of society. And hopefully, his efforts would pay off and he'd be able to live comfortably again soon, only this time it would be by his own efforts and hard work that he would get there. Sometimes, people must go through difficult lessons to learn the true value of what it is they want. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible stories.